All right, so now I'm going to do a sum. And uh, so in this case, again, I'm using widgets, and uh, we can get that from Blackboard. What I want to do is I want to I want to come up with a list of the quantities of every item sold. All right, and um, maybe I'll add some stuff to it, but we're gonna we're gonna start with that. So the quantity of each item sold. Um, if you had this question in front of you, you'd know that you could find most of this information in the detail, right? Because I can see the product IDs and the quantity of each sold um, for each report. So you can see that I've got repetition in my product IDs and uh, I've got uh, different quantities sold. So what I want to do is I want to know for every product ID, how many did I sell total? And I don't want to have to look at these individual records and go, well, there's a thousand, that's four. Uh, let's see if we can find the next 1,000 order. There's another 1,000, so now that's 8, yada, yada, yada. I want my SQL to do it for me. So let's do a simple SQL statement just using sum so that you can see how it works here. So I'm going to do a select, and I'm going to get the, uh, the table from, uh, we're going to use the detail table in this case. Dot, and I'm going to get the, uh, I decided I wanted to know the quantity of each item sold. So I'm going to get the uh, product ID and I'm going to get the table detail dot quantity sold. So there's my quantity um, from table detail, TPO detail. Now take a look. Now, right now I'm going to get this report and it's going to be kind of uh, not very useful. It's pretty much the same thing we just looked at, right? I've got all these records, but I still got to go in and do them manually. So that's a pretty good hint to me that I need to do some sort of grouping, right? So let's go ahead and do some grouping here. So I'm going to do a group by And I'm going to group by this uh, product ID. So I'll just grab that and throw it down here. And let's see what I get now. All right, well, that's uh, that looks great. Let's turn that in. Only wait, I know when I was manually counting these things, I saw at least two different sales records for product ID 1000. I, so I know that I sold at least eight. So this doesn't work, right? There's still a problem with this. And what's the problem? Well, the problem is I'm grouping by these records, um, but I'm not actually counting my records, right? Well, I could count them, and right? I could say count. You guys should know that one by now. So if I count those records, and I put that around there, and I hit OK, oh, wait, that's still not right. Now I've got these weird counts. Um, so I'm counting the number, looks like I've got four times this thousand showed up, but that's still not the quantity sold. Um, so there must be something else I can do. Well, I can use sum. All right now sum says go find all of the records and add them together, but only add them together by group. All right, so let's see what I get now. Hey, look at that. Now if I go and I manually count my records, what I'm going to find is I had four different records for a thousand, and it's going to add up to 14 total items sold. So there's my useful report. I've got my product IG, so I know what product I'm looking at. I've gone through and added up not the number of records, I've added up what I'm going to actually find, right? In this case, this is the quantity sold of each item. And then I'm going to make sure I pull the right table or multiple tables. I'm not doing multiple tables in these examples just because I want to focus on uh, the function. And then uh, group by the table product sold. And that gives me this lovely sum here. That's your sum.